Hello, and welcome to another Art Survival Evolved Taming video. I am Winslow, and today we're looking for the hungriest of hungry hippos, the Deodon. The Deodon is an extremely durable and successful carnivore. It can be located in and around the mountains, and especially up north in the tundra. The Deodon can be seen in packs of usually three to five members. They will relentlessly attack anything, excluding Rexes and Gigas. They always seem to be engaged in a fight. Their special healing bonus makes them excellent at survival but you can use this to your own advantage in taming them. I like to just pick them up with an Argentavis and bring them to a taming box. You can tame them in the field because the tame itself is relatively quick, but you will have to deal with the onslaught of tundra animals that will bother you. Save yourself some grief and just pick it up and bring it somewhere secluded. Once you've got it penned up, do some damage to it. This will cause it to use its healing ability, which is linked to its food amount. The Deodon converts their food reserves into an area of effect healing burst, healing themselves and all allies nearby. This allows the wild Deodon packs to daisy chain healing to one another, so they're very difficult to take out head on. The wild Deodons can reset and their food will fill back up, but if you keep it occupied, you can keep their food down. With using Superior Kibble, you will only need to drop its food about 750 on 4 times taming. Once its food is a bit drained, just use a bola and then knock it out. You can also snare it with bear traps or a net launcher, but a bola is more than effective. Be mindful when taming them in the field, their attack does a substantial knockback, and they can bully you into a bad position. Once it's out, put in some superior kibble, and it will start eating very quickly. Always remember to check the tame's torpor when shooting it. You don't want it to go to sleep and then hit it again. That will reduce its taming effectiveness. So since we're able to drain the Deodon's food with its own ability, this is our first real exposure to the starvation mechanic for taming. With starvation, you basically knock out the creature and ignore it, keeping it unconscious for a long period of time. The food drains over time, and then when you're ready to feed, you give it kibble and it quickly eats and tames up. The Deodon does this more naturally since its defensive healing ability drains its own food. Once it's saddled, you can use it for regular adventures, including cave exploration. Deodon have excellent health, stamina, weight capacity, food reserves, and melee damage. They are fast and maneuverable and small enough to fit into small spaces. When riding, you sit high enough to get clear sights on targets when using rider weaponry. Real power comes in with their healing ability. Using secondary attack will engage their healing actively, or while dismounted, you can use the radial menu to set it passively. The healing ability will pulse and provide healing to all injured allies around the Deodon. The number of allies it's healing determines just how much food the Deodon is using. It's a smart tactic to give it leftover kibble because there is no global cooldown when force feeding kibble. This can allow you to quickly refill the food reserves for more healing. I cannot recommend Deodons enough for taking into a boss fight, even if it's unmounted and just using passive healing. Thank you for watching this Art Survival Evolve taming video. I am Winslow and if you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like. I greatly appreciate your time and support, and we'll catch up next time.